light heavyweight action now. A little bonus coverage before our main event and before ringside report. Let's go to Michael Buffer right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this battle is scheduled for four rounds. And it's in the light heavyweight division. The referee for this contest is Rudy Battle. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing 171 and one half pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. Undefeated as a professional with a record of 5-0-1 oh, with two KOs to his credit, ladies and gentlemen, Darren Zentner. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with red trim, weighing an even 175 pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, North Philly to be exact. As a professional, he's 2-1 with a KO to his credit, introducing Starman Norman Bell. Okay, gentlemen, I'd like to have a nice, clean break. Let's have a clean fight and good luck to both of you. Let's touch gloves now. Touch up. There is Norman Bell. Al Bernstein along with Wally Matthews. He joined us late. That very Tompkins is a little back trouble. He's in San Francisco trying to recoup, recover, and so is Bell as he's hit by a right. It was a right uppercut in the middle of that flurry that really nailed Bell and dropped him on the canvas. Norman Bell hit with a series of punches, goes down here in round two. Kind of surprising. Darren Zetter stalks him. Bell's right hand, Bell is off and out. And right now, Bell not doing a good job of covering up or holding on. He's just running straight into Darren Zetter. Bell, though, looks like he still wants to attack. Not a good idea right now. I don't think so. Either. Well, maybe. But, yeah. On second thought, he hits and nails him with the right hand. Let's not be hasty. They are both straight up. Both are waiting to be hit. Halfway through round two. It's been a wild one. When Zenner goes to the body and the head wall, he, he, he usually does well. Right. Especially when he goes underneath the jab of, that, of uh, Norman Bell. Because now he's noticing that Bell kind of leaves the jab out there after he throws it. That's when he's trying to come over the top of But is Darren Zetter lighting up with that left He lands the right. He looks like Juan Marichal lighting up with that left hand. <laughs> after the left to go in round two, it's been a good round for Darren Zenner. However, Norman Bell has had his moments too, but he was down in this round, and I'm sure it will be Zenner's round. Here's a right hand that hurt Norman Bell, and now in comes Darren Zenner. Watch the right uppercut. Nope, it's after that. There it is. And follows it with a left hook. I'll tell you, it's surprising that Norman Bell got up from that combination. He got that. The edge is very, very close there. Bell landed his share of punches in that last round, but of course he was down. Oh, my. He's going there again. Trust me. <laughs> I do. Good body work by Zenner, except he leaves his head completely exposed. <laughs> That was actually good by Zenner to go to the body, but boy, he just didn't even pay attention to what Bell was throwing. No, that, that was a problem because he didn't look up and he got nailed with a couple of shots. Bell hurt by the right again. Again, the uppercut staying up somehow. And Norman Bell has no inclination to step forward and twist or to cover up. He just keeps coming into fight. He can't try to keep him still standing. Zenner thinking, should I go to the body? The head, you can see the wheels in motion in his play. Well, sometimes you've got a whole back touch. Norman Bell in the white. Bell down once before. Again, he's hurt in the, you know, the right hand by Zenner. Bell was down in the second. And here in the third, it's been hurt at least three or four times. Seems like every time he gets hit with that right hand, Bell is ready to go, and somehow he just recovers again. Big uppercut by Zetter. Here he's going to time it and come over the top. There it was. Oh, my. Twice he did it, and this time he sent Bell down again. <laughs> the second time in this stop, Norman Bell has been down. He is showing some determination, though. He has been hit with some solid shots. <laughs> Rudy Babble will let it go. Under 20 seconds left to go in round three. There is a three knockdown rule in effect here. 
where Norman Bell, and you can see battle very close to these two boxers, watching them closely. He will stop it if Bell gets hurt again. Right now, Zenner just looking for that right hand that will end the fight. Bell snuck. And here you see a right hand by Zenner, which kind of missed, and it's uh, actually an elbow to the throat is what sent him down. Interesting, the right hand does not do the damage, and I'll tell you, there's no way the referee could have seen that in, in, uh, in real speed. We know, yeah, because that actually looked like a legitimate punch. There's no way you can fault Rudy back. There's a replay rule in boxing, I guess you would have to disallow the knockdown, but it sure looked good in live action. And it made my card look like that because I gave him a 10-8 round. Well, and Zetter won the round rather dramatically anyway. You might have given him a 10-8 round anyway. I might have. I don't know. Can I, can I take a point back? There's a real right hand. That one landed with the glove and then hurt Bell. Since the first round when Bell had Zetter in a little trouble against the ropes, Darren Zetter has mostly been in control here. But you always get the feeling Earl Bell could land something for a, and. and, and Replay with some time. When we go to the scorecards, Mercedes Medina scores the belt 38 38. She has it even. Myra Grant and George Hill score the belt 38 36 for the winner by majority decision, Darren Zenner. Well, one judge had that fight even. That is as shocking as you can ever see a decision. But anyway, Darren Zenner gets the win. We'll be back with Ringside Report. Don't go away.